Hey guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. We know it's been a while. Very long while. Yes. Well, as you know, we're actors, yes. so strike happened. Yep. And we had to find real jobs. <laughs> yes. For like six months, a lot of actors uh, were struggling. And then I had emergency and I had to fly to Russia and my passport, Russian passport expired. I have also US passport, it was fine, but Russian passport expired, so I was dealing with my passport situation for a while. Stuck in Russia for three weeks. Yes. David was very lonely and had to take care of our three cats. Mm -hmm. And then I got back and finally started working again on set. Yes, the strike lasted around seven months, mm -hmm. eight months. Yeah, something like that. Yes, we know we're out of the groove. We know we weren't able to express ourselves creatively and didn't have much motivation to do these videos, if I'm being honest with you guys. If you know any actor in your life, none of us are nine to five people. Mm -hmm. We can't do the same thing every day. We constantly need to be in a new environment with something new, with new challenges, and to just challenge our brain and our minds in a creative way. Yeah, if you look at my Instagram, I was not uploading much at all. Since strike happened, everything slowed down. Yes. Big time. So which leads me into a very, very special edition of Post Gym Chronicles. Yes. We woke up. Mm -hmm. Rested. Yes. We went to the gym. Yes. I did legs. What did you do? Legs too. Yeah, we both <laughs> did legs. And then, um, yeah, got ready to pack. Yes. We are on our way to Paso Robles for our wine club pickup, which um, leads me into my message of the day. Work hard, play hard. Always strive to maintain a healthy work-life balance. Yes. So we originally joined, well, Alex suggested we join the Swine Club because <laughs> David's a workaholic. I've been working a lot, so we decided to take the weekend off and relax, enjoy mm -hmm. a nice weekend together. Yes, and uh, we actually just stopped at Burger King. Yes. Usually we eat healthy. Yes, usually we'll cook a lot of our food, we'll meal prep, we try to make it relatively healthy, but uh, the Whopper from Burger King, if you know, you know, <laughs> it's one of Alex's favorite things to eat. So she eats super clean all the time. So a tradition we started on our road trips, or most of our road trips, we always start off stopping at Burger King and getting Whoppers. Yes, I just needed that energy for vlog. <laughs> so guys, we're currently on our way to our hotel. Yes, we're about 20 minutes out. It is a hotel overlooking the ocean in Morro Bay. Um, I decided to get a little bit nicer of a hotel because Alex's birthday was almost exactly a month ago mm -hmm. and she was sick. So we couldn't really do anything for her birthday. We just rested up. So we're going to check out the hotel first. It's about a half an hour away from winery but we wanted to check in during the day so we can still see the nice sunset before we head over to yes. our wine pickup party. And we're gonna film a room tour for you guys of course. Yes, yeah, super excited. Heck yeah. Damn guys check it out. Well, we got a couple stop signs. Yeah we still have a few stop signs but <laughs> it's close to our hotel. Clouds, wow, so low. They look so low right now. Uh, uh, this is more of a, I don't yeah. think I've ever been here. Yeah, I don't think so. Wow. Right? Yeah, there's no stop sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so pretty. Wow. This is it. Oh, happy birthday, Mr. and Mrs. Cox. Just got to our humble mm -hmm. abode for the weekend and wanted to show you guys the layout. Yes. Right now we're actually technically in the bathroom. <laughs> we have our microwave, coffee maker, ice. Mm-hmm. 
This is where you can store luggage and we also have... A closet? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else we got? I'll turn this way. <laughs> nice sink. Okay, now bathroom. Power. Turn it on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And now I follow you. <laughs> Show us the rest. Oh, well, this huge one bedroom with the king bed. Super happy. Some tables. Yeah. We have a nice fireplace. Mm-hmm. Our TV. Our California king size bed. Yeah. And my favorite part of the whole place. Wow. Come on. So pretty. Wow. It's a little bit chilly right now. I think my watch is saying 61. 61 degrees. So we just got tomorrow bay, as you can see. They have a cute little downtown, mm -hmm. lots of shops, restaurants, and hotels. Lots of fishermen around. Yes. But this is Moro Bay. So pretty. <laughs> I love the dunes over there. Love the size of the bed. <laughs> Cow king, baby. Yeah. Okay, now we have to get ready to go to the winery yes. in a little bit. Our wine pickup is in three minutes and it's about 30 minutes away. Yes, that's possible. Mm -hmm. okay. It's such a beautiful sunset right now, guys. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? There's an open street. Wow. Amazing. So we're currently on our way to the winery. Yep. It's been two time. Yes. Before we got engaged. I'm surprised not a lot of people here. You would think that it will be busier because it's so pretty. I don't think we'll get a chance to use it, but oh man, okay. So this is nice. So this is the spa room. Love sign. It says no diving. I hope no one's trying to dive in there, but yeah. Nice little hot tub. Overlooking the woods. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. So we're wearing same tops because we're looking for location to take pictures. We yes. didn't have time last night. To match. Mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. So we have to find some location for pictures for Instagram. And as a gentleman, I always walk street side. Fellas, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, then probably why you're single. But yeah. we're going to walk downtown right now. They have such a cute boardwalk. All these little lookout points mm -hmm. where you can take pictures. So we'll check it out. Yes. What do we think about this location for pictures? I think it's fire. Just over here somewhere. It's so pretty. Wow. Which one? This other dock, the one next to us. Yeah. But this is like more cute. Mm -hmm. So we just finished taking pictures over here. Yep. It's so pretty, guys. Gonna enjoy a little bit of this view and walk for a little bit yeah there's a little 
I don't know, just like yes they have another spot i wanted to see yeah there's just like 50 different shops and restaurants and little things that you can mm -hmm. check out and look at so we're gonna show you guys what we found yeah so guys the reason why we're wearing red shorts is because we have matching shoes and we wanted to take pictures like this yesterday but didn't have time because of sunset so that's why we're wearing same shirts today <laughs> Temporarily. Yes. Check out, guys. Dining deck open to public. So we wanted to see some boats. Yeah, what'd you catch? Rockfish. Rock? Nice. Check it out. That's crazy. This is for kids. Yeah. This yeah. This is architecture. Mm -hmm. And then they have these gift shops. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. What is this? Dreams. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Now we're on a mission to find some sea otters. Yeah. Let's see if we can find some. Check it out, guys, who we found. Three? Four. Oh, and then one more over here. And then two more down here. Oh, there's one more over there. Weather here, guys, changing every like few minutes. It's cloudy, chilly, then it's sunny, warm. Yep. Reminds us of San Francisco. Yeah. So they have small market over here. Yep. We'll be checking it out quickly. Which is crazy. It's like right along the water. Mm -hmm. No refunds, no exchanges. Nope. <laughs> so prints it all at once and they move and everything. Mm-hmm. These are the two tone. That's crazy how they layer it and like yeah. yeah. It is time for us to unfortunately check out, but wanted to share our balcony room view with you one more time. And yeah, we didn't get to do anything for Alex's birthday, so I wanted to make this weekend a little bit special. So, what'd you think of the room? I loved it. It's so pretty. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And look at this view. So nice. Mm. So pretty. You make the view pretty. All right, so we're stopping to eat before we head out. Mm -hmm. We're really hungry. We saw that this place, Rose's Bar mm -hmm. and Grill, had a lot of great reviews. So we're gonna check it out. I'm in the mood for crab. Yeah, crab leg clusters, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe coconut shrimp coconut and- Coconut prawns are my favorite, and you gotta try, where's the clam shell? Over there. We gotta try the clam shell. Yeah. We got your sandwich. Mm-hmm. Let's check it out. Crab, clam chowder, coconut frogs, and salmon. Full out for the seafood. Because how can you not? <laughs> appetizers? A couple appetizers. I may have overshot my appetite. We're going to see. The salmon and fries. What's okay. this? Enough crab to city. <laughs> we just ordered coffee at the Human Bean. It's a new coffee place. We never been. It's a little bit complicated. <laughs> White chocolate mocha. I mean, once you get it, you get it. They just have four sizes instead of like you know, grande or medium. Mm -hmm. You have to select your size, and then they do a lot of specialty crafted, non regular drinks yes uh, i ordered like a regular cappuccino but with espresso shot and what did you get maxi snowy white chocolate mocha <laughs> i think yeah <laughs> we are super stuffed so stuffed that we stopped for gas and we had to find the nearest coffee shop which was pretty complicated as you're gonna see mm -hmm. um, yeah, their menu is all over the place. But I had so much crab and 
Uh, salmon was amazing. See, yeah. The coconut prawns we ended up getting were amazing. And the clam chowder. Mm -hmm. I always judge a seafood place, especially one that's by the water, by their clam chowder. And I would say it was a 9.2 out of 10. So it was actually really, really good. Yes. Yeah. I think all the places there is pretty good because it's not too many of them. And they right there, and I feel like it just they all have to be good, honestly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The coffee place was human the bean. human bean. Uh, David got their snowy drink, and it's cold drink, and I got my cappuccino. With an extra shot. Yes. Yeah. And we didn't know, on top of every drink, they give you a chocolate covered espresso bean. Yeah, it was yummy. Nice surprise, almost dropped it, to be honest. So guys, we just stopped at Absolution Cellars for wine tasting. We split one, <laughs> just yeah. because it looked so cute and they had different arts on different bottles. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I thought it was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was mind blowing, but the theme, the aesthetics, the artist, definitely a nine out of 10 experience. The wines were pretty good. And the associates behind, big shout out to V, extremely knowledgeable not only about the terrain but the fruit the process and uh yeah we got to meet his mom so <laughs> <laughs> yes. she works on the other side something i've noticed about all these wineries they it's always family have relatives. business <laughs> yeah it's like family business always have relatives <laughs> working there family business and it was the only one winery on this boardwalk yes kind of along the beach which was really cool because that's what he was saying why they decided to move here in the first place mm -hmm. because um there's no real other wine tasting in the area so absolution sellers <laughs> highly recommend yes we did buy a bottle yes we probably would have bought more oh we didn't even say about my case yet nope so <laughs> last night uh, at our winery we went to we had pickup party yeah we and did <laughs> it was a raffle four different boxes you could put raffle tickets in three of them were free it was a free stay it was a free 2014 vintage with a hat a free magnum bottle of wine with a hat and then the fourth option you had to buy a case of wine but to get 50% off. off and guess which raffle somebody won yes 50% off of a case of wine and I don't even drink yep on top of our six bottle shipping. <laughs> so we got 18 bottles of wine. Right now. Plus this one, no? Or is it with this one? 18 plus this bottle. <laughs> so we're coming back with 19 bottles of wine. You know, a truck. <laughs> so guys, we're currently on our way home and I wanted to talk about traveling and also creativity and how it is important to travel if you trying to be an actor, singer, writer, or an artist. Yep. So when you travel, you collect different experiences and different memories and different situations. So when you have an audition, when you have a role, you have a lot more experiences to pull from to get into character. So you would associate the closest related experience to that scene so when we're on set, a lot of the main actors and actresses will have a notebook and they'll be jotting down which experiences are associated with which scenes. And also when they're acting or prepping to do a scene, they aren't saying what they're experiencing at that time also, which also compounds as memories. So you have to travel, you have to experience life. That's not even for a creative. That's just in life in general because you're going to remember experiences and memories a lot more than like a thing. And remember I told you, traveling helps you grow as a person. Yeah, it just makes you more well-rounded and as my, my brother and mom would say, it makes you worldly. I'm glad you became worldly. Yes. Shout out to my mom. Also, the funny part is every time when we're traveling, we get an audition. 
never fails. Yes, uh, actually, David got one. We have to do it tonight because it's due tomorrow, uh, but we can do it at home. <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually it's not uh, the case. At home is easy because we have our lights, we have our backdrop, we have our camera, and we know the area, so it's really easy to pump those out really quick. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's not always so easy. Yes, sometimes you get it uh, when you're already on the road or you're flying somewhere and then you have to deal with it. Um, one time I got audition on a cruise ship and we had to work around it. I had to do full body also. In the middle of the ocean. Yeah, and of course I didn't have ring light. We didn't bring lights with we us. We brought nothing with us. Yeah. Well, we had uh, our camera, but that's it. You know, so we had to work with yellow light in the room. So with this particular audition, we we're in the middle of the ocean, so we had no internet connection. How long did it take you to upload your audition? I well, first of all, I had to pay for internet, which was like <laughs> expensive. But um, I think it took me like nine hours or something like that. Nine hours to upload one audition to submit to our agents. So we each have different agents, which we didn't have any of the ring lights, mm -hmm. none of the lights. Um, if you've ever been on a cruise, because it can rock, all of the lights and lamps are secured to the desk. Yeah. You can't move any light in the cruise ship. We found that out the hard way. <laughs> we had to pay for the internet, and then we had to spend, we left her laptop open nine hours to upload because we were in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, and it was terrible reception. And full body, good luck finding a place to do a full body quiet in a cruise ship. Yeah, it was very, very difficult. And then one time I got audition when we uh, got married. Um, in Lake Tahoe? Yes, and we had to shoot it the next day in our hotel, <laughs> in our loft. But it was kind of easy because we had extra rooms. So we could find the plain white wall, you know, so it wasn't as bad. And I think we used daylight from the window because yep. it was pretty good. And then another time it was when we was visiting your family in San Francisco area and I had to do it in a hotel room again yes. with yellow lights. <laughs> with yellow. Never fails. Whenever we're traveling, we always get an audition. Yeah. And even the, when you worked on uh, another movie, I worked on a movie, I can't say a movie because it's not out yet, and I signed like 12 <laughs> NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, basically saying I can't say anything about this movie, but what I can say about this movie is I stayed, we got to stay at a casino resort, so shout out to Gerald and George, because Gerald and George, who are other actors on this movie with me, helped me out in the hotel room. One was holding the ring light above my head. <laughs> it was crazy. Yes. It was crazy. We had no extension cords, so we have little portable battery chargers that we had to plug the ring light into. And someone was holding the battery pack in their pocket, another person, and then we had a reflector, and then someone had to record as well. <laughs> well, at least you had help. <laughs> yeah, so. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we have to do it sometimes. On the road. On the road. You just gotta figure it out. Mm -hmm. So I think that's all for today, guys. We had such a blast on this trip. Thank you for exploring Morro Bay and actually experiencing this thing with us. Yes. For the first time. Yes, it was our first time. It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. If you ever get an opportunity or chance, always stop by Morro Bay. You're gonna love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess until next time, guys. Thanks for checking in with us. Yes. But like always, don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe.